Hi everyone, today I'm going to show you how you can create this abstract loop in Blender. So let's get started. First hit Shift A and add a circle. Go into edit mode, press F3 and type in grid fill. Hit enter. Go back into object mode. Now press Ctrl 3 and I recommend that you set this anywhere between 2 and 4. I'm going to set it to 4. This will control the density of the animation. Go to geometry nodes, click on new, and let's bring this over here. Add an instance and points node. This one here. Put that here and add a cube. Set the scale to 0 0.025. Plug the mesh into the instance. Now, as you can see, if we change the levels here, it will get less or more dense. Add a random value node. Now, plug that into the rotation here. Add a math node set to multiply. And let's also add a Musgrave texture. Put that here and plug the height into the value here. Set this value to 4.5. Now plug the value into the scale. Set the mask wave texture to 40 and keyframe the W. I'm going to set the scale to 2.5. Now go here and drag this window up and set it to the graph editor. Make sure the circle and the node are selected. Go here and make sure this is selected. Go to the modifiers here and select noise. If we press play, we've got something like this. So let's set the scale to 30, for example. To turn this into a loop, go here and enable restrict frame range. Now set the end to 250 and set the blend in and out to 10, for example. Now if we play the animation, this will make it loop. Add a set material node. Put it here and go to the materials. Click on new and set this to glass BSDF. Select the material here. Go into rendered view and let's close this window. Deselect it and go to the world properties. If you want to use this free HDI, I've got a link to that in the description. But I'm going to use a sky texture. Set the sun elevation to 5.5 and the sun rotation to 60. And let's set these to 3. Back in the out node, let's save and select the circle. Press delete on the numpad and 1. And press 8 on the numpad 3 times. Hit shift 8 and add a camera. Ctrl Alt 0 to go into camera view and press G and set it twice to move it on the local Z axis. And now press G and Y. If you want to add some depth of field, go to the object data properties, enable depth of field, and hit Shift A, add an empty plane axis. Select the camera again and select the empty here. Now go up here and enable depth of field so that we can see it. I'm going to set it to 0.4, set the blades to 16, save again and go to the output properties, select the resolution that you want, you can also select that here. Now create an output folder, once you've created it go into the folder and I'm going to call the images rendered images. If you put an underscore after the name, Blender is going to automatically assign numbers to the frames. Now let's set this to JPEG and set the quality to 100%. Go to the render properties and I'm going to set the max samples to 1000. You can of course set them lower if it takes too long to render. Go to color management and set the view transform to filmic and the look to very high contrast. Save again and go to render, render animation. Once it's done rendering, close this window and go up here to the plus sign and go to video editing, video editing. Make sure you are on frame 1 and hover over the file location and press Ctrl C. 
Now set the file format to FFmpeg video and the encoding container to MPEG4. Let's set the output quality to high quality. Hit Shift A and add an image sequence. Paste in the location minus the name of the images and hit enter. Make sure you sort it by name. Press A and enter. Now let's save again, go to render and render animation. So that's it with the tutorial. I hope you liked it. Please let me know what I should do next and I'll see you next time.